Lightroom just dropped a brand new update version 14.3 for Lightroom Classic and it comes with a powerful new masking tool called Select Landscape. And yes, I know what you're thinking, cool, but I shoot people, not mountains, and me too. I also shoot a lot of people in the mountains though, but hear me out. This might be a really useful feature, even if you're a wedding or portrait photographer like me, because this tool doesn't just recognize landscapes, it breaks down your image into few landscape features and lets you create precise mask with literally one click. So whether it's that mountain allotment or city engagement session or just a sunny backyard wedding, you'll be surprised how useful this is even outside of a traditional landscapes. And while we're at the editing, I'm also going to show you my editing workflow using Imagine AI, the sponsor of this video, because after I posted this reel of how I shot over 15,000 photos at my last wedding, a bunch of you messaged me asking how the heck I even edit that much. So I'll show you how I can do it quickly and effortlessly. But first, let's jump in the Lightroom 14.3. Okay, let's start with this image because this is people in the mountains, in the water. We have all the landscape features actually in this particular image. So I'm gonna apply my Magic Adabra color preset, which is my main preset that I use for like most of my work. Um, I'm gonna turn exposure slightly down. I'm gonna make the image slightly warmer so I can get like the base image that I want. Maybe I'll add some more contrast and I like the colors on their face and so on. But like I would like to be able to control more of that background. So here the new feature comes in handy. So we click on the mask icon and then we have the new landscape. Ah. So when you click on it, it's going to recognize depending on the image, like what does it see in that image? And here you can see it did break down our background, basically our landscape into sky mountains. It did a pretty good job as you can see. So sky mountains vegetation, which is I, I guess all the greenery and then we have water. So I'm going to actually start with the water because I want to be able to change like the, the, the saturation of the water. So let's see. Uh, I'm, first, I, I can actually work on temperature because I made the image warmer. So when you make image warm, the blue water becomes like yellowish brownish. So we can actually take back that temperature to make the water more blue and I feel like making water more blue in your images is going to be one of the most useful features if you're shooting portraits and you have you know water in the background and you want the skin to be warm the skin tones to be warm and that you want the water to be more blue so that's what we can do here we can also play with the saturation so it doesn't look too weird the next up so we're going to add another mask we're going to click plus and uh, again select landscape and we're going to use the mountains so mountains boom and now obviously we can make them brighter we can make them darker but that doesn't make much sense to be honest so i feel like this feature will be most um, handy for stuff like like making rich colors out of you know the specific pieces of your background can, you can also go down here and play with the curve and like the color curve but that's quite difficult actually to handle so for me i'm probably going to be sticking to this panel right here the color panel where i can make green stuff more green and i can make blue stuff more blue so look we went from this to this i like how we turn the water more blue. I like how we kept the couple really warm and how I could change that greenery tone. I could also play with the sky here, but I like like the dark sky that we have here. Probably doesn't look super natural here. So it, like I would probably make maybe this slightly less. Yep, something more like this. So we went from this to this. This is going to be a similar image. This is a singular portrait, but here you'll see there's even more possible features. So let's apply the preset once again. My Magic Adabra preset, I'm going to make stuff darker. I'm going to make stuff slightly less warm, but I like the warmth in that image. It's, it's like, obviously this is a sunset, so I want to keep things warm in that image. And now again, we're going to use that landscape feature and what you're going to see on top of the sky and water, we have also architecture now. 
because it did recognize the buildings in the background and natural ground, which is this, I guess, and some some kind of portion of the stuff in the back that I don't like, but that I'll show you here how to make it work. So I'm going to start with a sky here. So I'm going to create the sky mask timer. Like we could do that before. There was an option to do sky masking, but now it's like within one type of mask. So I'm just going to make it slightly darker, slightly bluer, maybe. I like that. Boom. Okay, so went from here to here. Maybe too much. What do you guys think? Just gonna drop the amount to 75%. All right. Now we're gonna add another landscape feature. And now we're gonna do water. As you can see, this is again a sunset. So the water is brownish. Let's make it more blue. So you can match like the blueness of the dress here. And the cool part about this is that you're not affecting any other parts of the image. You're just affecting the water. So that is what that feature is all about. This is the way that I, I like this this way. We went from brownish to bluish. Perfect. And now we're going to ask add one more. Select landscape. And now uh, we're going to use the natural ground. And here, as you can see, like it selected the natural ground in the background as well. So we can, what you can do here is actually uh, when you're here on that mask panel right here, you can subtract from that mask by just brushing out or you can even gradient things out. So I'm going to actually gradient the things out. It's going to be easy. Look at this. Just like this, I removed everything else except that background here. So I'm going to press enter, bam. So now my mask is only here. I'm going to make it slightly darker so it doesn't take away from my subject. So we went from, from this to this. Boom. In certain scenarios, I found this feature not working perfectly. So this is the image. This is already edited image. Uh, I edited this before the Lightroom 14.3 came out. And as you can see, I made already, I, I was playing around with a lot of masks. For, I was masking uh, him out. I was masking her out separately. And then I was masking Sky out separately. Um, but what I wanted in that particular shoot was to be able to have like all this architecture kind of, as a separate mask, but sadly, landscape and architecture does not work the way I would want it here. So this is like a little bummer. It's not all perfect. Lightroom is not all perfect. And I feel like that's how we get things like Imagine. Like Imagine, so that's gonna be the sponsor of this portion of the video, is the AI tool that I use to batch edit tens of thousands of my wedding photos because Lightroom like is really bad at replicating, duplicating the look. You can, you can only duplicate the settings like as they are. You cannot match the settings, match the white balances and so on. And that's where Imagine comes in handy. So how you use it is you create your own profile or you can use someone else's profile. There's like entire library of profiles. You can also use my profile that I trained. But if you're a wedding photographer, having your own style, I do recommend creating your own profile based on your look. So how you do it, you select your Lightroom catalog, you select a certain collections, folders of your images and send them to Imagine. So based on those images, it will create a profile that will edit the images the way you edit. Once you have your profile, you just simply create a new project you select what type of project this is. There's a bunch of parameters that you can use to get your images edited the way you want. For example, I use straightening, so it will straighten my horizon in all of my images. And then you simply upload your images and within 10 to 20 minutes, you have like your images back. The base edit is done. The white balances are correct, are matched across the images the way I like to keep my white balance. The exposures are matched. You can literally see the edits 
as they go as you just apply and import them to your Lightroom and then you have everything in your Lightroom so you can go image by image by image and make your revisions and make your final edits but majority of the work which is matching the exposures matching the white balances across like the entire set is done your look is applied and like this is like a total game changer and to be honest i wouldn't be able to do my work which is youtube videos every week and then instagram shorts and then actually shooting and editing weddings without a tool like this so i highly recommend imagine you can use the link in the description to test it out you get 1500 free images so you can just sign up and just you know, try it on various different projects or sessions, weddings and so on, and then decide if you like it or not. But I would be surprised if you didn't like it. Check the link in the description to get this promo. And thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you in the very next one. Ciao.